Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at upcoming gacha games for December 2023 and beyond. Now, we don't really have any major releases in December. We do have one major release to talk about, but that is happening on the 30th of November, which, hey, that's pretty well December. Uh, then we're also going to talk betas. We're also going to talk games that I've been monitoring that were meant to launch this year, but I've now been pushed back into next year. And we'll talk about speculation on dates on those games and stuff like that. So let's get into it. First off, we do have the Zenless zone zero beta going on at the moment i did make a dedicated video on that i'll leave it linked in the description if you guys want to have a look for my first couple hours of gameplay and i was going to make more content but i've hit a bit of a roadblock for myself in trying to play the game now when i look at that game uh, it's looking pretty decent in combat in story in voice acting all that stuff really solid character designs summon animations but they've just got this one tv system that is just draining my soul trying to play the game i've heard from people that once you get towards the the, the later game, the end game, uh, it becomes a lot better. I may try and push myself through to that, but at the moment I'm having trouble playing through the campaign because I find this TV system just really unfun for me personally, but that's the great thing. It is a beta, so they do have time to change that. And hey, if they don't change it, then the people that enjoy it, that's fine. I personally don't. I probably won't play it. But that's sort of where I'm at with Zenless Zone Zero, but that is ongoing. But, you know, glad they do do these test phases. So hopefully they can get some feedback uh, and adjust things based on that. Next up is Black Clover Mobile or Black Clover Rise of the Wizard King. Now, this one has been coming forever. This is releasing on the 30th of November. If you want to time calculate it, I'll leave a link to Pridewin here. And you can see at the top, it's got an actively count down, active count down here that you can see when it actually does launch. So I just wanted to throw this in in editing that the time on Pridewin is is not official. We haven't received an exact official time yet, but as soon as they do, they will update it on Pridewin so we can calculate it. So as long as that warning is there on the bottom of Pridewin, just note that it is not yet official. Now, I will have a bunch of content coming for this game. Uh, that'll probably be my next few videos on the channel, uh, getting ready for the launch. And I've got a list of about 15 videos that I want to make in the lead up and post launch for this one. So we'll have a bunch of stuff for this one coming in the not too distant future. Like I said, we're less than three days away from the launch. Now, this game had a lot it, it's been through a bit uh, we had the beta about a year ago which was fantastic i thought it was great for a beta great starting point for the game then they didn't really develop it too much crazy from that they released the jpkr versions which weren't received too well then they released a canadian version which once again felt a bit rushed they took their time for global which i do appreciate now they are getting real-time arena on the kr and jp versions on the same day that global releases it's not going to be in the global version i don't believe at launch and it's only a test on the kr and jp versions where it's going to be like a between friends you can battle but that is going to lead into a proper real-time arena and that is something that i think this game needs and i'm really hoping they push that into global as soon as it is ready for it because i think that's going to be great for the game but in general i love black clover this game is a good core they're working on making a lot of the quality of life and stuff like that better so i'm keen to jump into the global one and see what they do have and like i said i will have a bunch of videos based on information that I have from the Canadian version and stuff like that. And I'll have a bunch of content in the lead up to the launch. But this one, I am still really looking forward to. I know a lot of people lost the hype for this one, which yes, the hype did die down a little bit, but I am still very excited for this one and looking forward to the global launch in less than three days. Okay, and that is going to be it for confirmed releases. Now I am going to go into in a second, two other pretty big releases that have been pushed back and we'll talk about them. But before that, I looked through all of like the pre-registration games on the Google play store and stuff like that i couldn't find confirmed release dates for these games but i want to mention a few that i thought some people may be a little bit interested in so we have this summoners raid war legends rpg i found find this to be the best meme on earth i don't think the game's going to be that great but if you want to just try a turn-based game for shits and gigs you can try this one out but you can see that it's just one of those cheap games that's trying to play off the words of summoners war and raid shadow legends and try and get that audience it's basically like a raid shadow legends type ripoff it's it, it, it's, it doesn't look crazy to me, but that is one. It's currently in a Philippines uh, soft launch or early access phase, but I couldn't find an exact date for the release of it. Uh, then as we move on past that, we've got this S-Class Heroine, which is an idle game uh, where you play as a 
main character and it's like one of those idle games where you're just defeating bosses uh, as a main character and progressing your main character style of thing uh, and then we have this battle ranker in another world which is another idle style progression game and those are the main ones i could see but i couldn't find confirmed release dates for them so i'm not going to go too deep into these things uh but like i said i i've been looking everywhere to find december releases and they just aren't really there but like i said i want to look at some of these games that i think are going to be higher profile launches that were due to launch this year but have been pushed back the first of which is solo leveling arise now this game is looking really really solid in my opinion it's by netmarble i know some people have reservations about netmarble but in general i think netmarble make pretty well presented games and even though they normally get uh you know hit with the uh, pay to win brush I don't care if a game's pay to win as long as I can enjoy it free to play that's my perspective I know other people have a different perspective I don't know how the monetization is going to be but I think the game is looking really good itself now as you can see on the website it still says coming in 2023 however that is no longer the case if we go over to their Twitter they should probably update the website uh, you can see this we have this uh, hello hunter when was this uh, this was on November 17 they posted this uh, hello hunters we are at our last stage of development and working towards releasing in the first half of 2024 from now on we will we uh, will be actively providing new information regarding solo leveling arise through our official channels thank you so you can see coming in spring 2024 i am seriously looking forward to this game i i just love i i think i read this whole thing it was the first one i've read and i absolutely loved it uh we got the anime coming in january i think this was probably the move for this game releasing it after the anime came out if they were going to release it at the end of this year and then have the anime at the start of next year i feel like that would have been like just a little bit of missed timing i'm hoping they launch it within like you know one to two months of the anime so the anime can drive a bit of hype and then they get more people into the game i feel like that's the way to go about it but i absolutely loved this i love this ip uh and i cannot wait for the game and the gameplay looks really really solid in my opinion i'm looking forward to seeing what kind of gameplay modes they have whether there's pvp whether it's pve only whether they have like co-op raids i i'm really curious to see what they implement into everything into the game i feel like with the solo leveling ip there is a lot that they could do with an action game uh, to make really enjoyable engaging modes with good replayability so definitely keen to see it uh, i'll update you guys on this one on the channel because it's definitely one that i will be playing but at the moment all we have for now is that it is coming in spring of 2024 and the final one that i want to look at is king arthur legends rise now this is by kabam kabam obviously do marvel contest of champions so a pretty decent uh publisher for this one now for this game i've been expecting this to release forever it's been in like soft launches and like a progressive soft launch for as long as I can remember but they still haven't done the official full global launch they're going through another PC test phase at the moment but for the actual release of the game I don't know when it's going to be I haven't seen anything confirmed but it looks like it's not going to be this year and it is going to push into next year now I don't know where the game's going to be at release they've made that many changes to the game I haven't personally been playing it uh, but been keeping in touch with roughly what's been going on with it they've been doing lots of changes changes uh consistently some for the better some for the worse so i don't know exactly where it's going to be at the launch of this game or when it will launch but this is one that like you know decent publisher decently presented game um for those who like the turn-based style games with the gear grind i know that is not for everyone but for those that do enjoy it this game does look to be a decent one for it but that unfortunately looking like it won't be launching this year and will be pushed back into next year so that is going to be it for this one guys like i said not much coming in december if there is anything else that pops up that i just didn't have on my radar i will let you guys know in a separate video uh but in general it's a case of just hang on to whatever you're playing through december give black clover a try if you're interested in that uh and then hopefully we get some bangers happening in the first half of next year but as always thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next one cheers